Hey everyone, this is a quick bonus video on building a second brain and creating a book on a page summary for your book. I want to show you a neat little trick, a best practice that if you follow, you will be able to identify additional links, unexpected links in your second brain. Tiago talks about the role of serendipity in finding relevant information in your second brain and he makes this point that visual patterns amplify serendipity because we remember visuals much better and the bit i want to show you is every single image i have in my second brain so for example i click on this brain light bulb I don't just paste the image into Excolidraw and it receives a random name, pasted image and the number, but I take every single image after I pasted it and I give the image a name. If it's an icon, I call it icon brain light bulb or sometimes I call it brain light bulb icon. In the end, it doesn't matter where the words are. As long as the word icon is in there, then when I want to insert an image, I can search the word icon in my second brain and I'm going to find all the icons and I can choose the icon I want. But then the cool thing I want to show you is with Excolibrain, if I pull up the Excolibrain page for the brain light bulb, then you can see all of these documents that also use the brain light bulb. So for example, my recent video about quick capture used the brain light bulb. Also, the PKM processes version one used the brain light bulb and of course a number of others as well. Or I want to show you another example. Tiago used this Picasso drawing about the bull this is a lesson in abstraction and the cool thing is this image was already in my vault and it was in my vault because in the past i participated on this training that's called make my point and it's about powerpoint presentations and how you can create excellent powerpoint slides by following some best practices and the trainer in that training also referenced Picasso's bull and it's exactly in the same context. So it was about distilling your message to the audience and trimming down your slides. And I think this is just super cool that I found a connection between Tiago's book and between this presentation training about PowerPoint presentations not by searching, not by remembering. I actually didn't even connect these two, but I find the connection because both of the presenters reference Picasso's bull and I have the same image and I've named that image in my vault and that creates the connection. I really believe that we usually use the same visual representations to represent things with similar meaning. If you name your objects, and you reuse the objects you already have in your vault, then it is just going to unlock some magical power in your vault and some magical links between your notes. I hope you like this final little bonus and until next time, thank you.